we just spent far too long back there taking pictures and messing about but yeah it's all good all good it's actually quite good being out with some lads for a change not just on my own So this is the ride to Aberystwyth mountain route. It's a good one. That is one good view down there. Look at that. Wow, we're going right through there now as well. Oh, he's pulling in. All right, we're just about to come into Kerodigion, which used to be Doved, I believe. Excellent. Just check that view out. Soon be at the seaside. Fish and chips maybe, who knows. Thank you. Ah, that's great. Brilliant. His and hers. That's what I'll plan, I wanna do that. Me and my missus, his and hers. Maybe like 12.50 and uh, 8.50. Ah, this weekend's been awesome. Been out on the bike every day and night. <laughs> Friday night, Saturday day and night till late. And now today, Sunday, all day. Put some miles on the bike, I tell you that. A lot of miles done. Come Estwith. Try saying that after a few. Oh, they've got one of those pod things up there, look. It's not the Pamir Highway, but it's really good in its own right. Look at that. This is definitely a good road to come down, guys. Oh. And then you've got the remains of the old quarries down here. I think it's, um, it's not slate. It might be copper. Copper mines. Thanks. Yeah, loving this today, loving it. It's just so relaxing. Quite an epic place here as well. This is the remains of an old quarry then. I don't know what it was. It says somewhere here. Let me just see what it is. Let's see what it says here. So this was 
Um, the mine workings in front of you stretch for nearly a mile along the north side of the Uswith Valley and among some of the most ancient historical important ones in Britain. Dating from the Bronze Age up to the first two decades of the 20th century, copper, lead and zinc. Yeah, the waterfall. Beautiful. Good spot. I didn't see that. Let me see if I can see it. Just pointed out there's a lovely waterfall up there. Stunning. I haven't got time to get the drone out now, but that is nice. It's a bit of an epic place here, isn't it? There's that driver again. Come in then. Oh, now these lot have got the right idea. Look at this. Just relax. Perfect. Lovely. They got a seat with a view. Cup of tea with a view. Do you know, you don't even need filters today. The colours are just popping everywhere I look. Oh, and the sun's just made another appearance. I'm putting it into fourth, but to be honest, long you're just thirding it all the way. Thirding it. Is that, is that a word? So we're driving on the B4574. I think that's... There's about four or five roads in Wales that are my favourite and I think this is one of them. Really is nice along there. Pass for a minute. Sometimes it's nice to just follow them. Oh, listen to that. R19. It's got quite a good sound. He's going to be a while yet. Okay, we're supposed to be going left here at this junction, but we are one man down. He's come in, he's quite far back, so we're just going to hang around and wait for him. I'll just show these two around Devil's Bridge quickly on the bikes, and then we'll carry on. Turn around. Where is he? No, he's not here yet. I think he might have turned right along there because there was a right turn. Oh, was it? But I came down this way to go to Aberystwyth. What, what postcode did he, did you tell him to meet us in Aberystwyth? Yeah. Is that where we yeah, will he go there? Let's go there. Huh? Are you no, no. He's waiting to turn around. Okay, the joy of sat-navs, guys. 
when we were at the last stop, we all put the destination where we're going in Aberystwyth into our sat navs. And then obviously some have got fastest route, some have got shortest route. Uh, the chap we're waiting for, he must have had on another route and he's ended up turning off up there somewhere. So he's going to meet us in Aberystwyth now. So we're just going to carry on on our way. So yeah, we've got one loss at the moment. I'm not sure where he is. I'm just trying to find the petrol station. I know there's one over there. Massive forest over there. Oh, we've got an ambulance coming now. I think he's got about three miles in the tank. There's three miles to the next station, so we'll take that. Petrol station one mile that way. So I thought if we take this little cut across, then he can get his fuel. As if the Merco garage is open. Should be. Oh yes, if we're swimming there, lovely. The other one's only three miles that way. Three miles, you got enough? Well, that was good. The petrol station didn't have any fuel. Typical. I don't know, I had a funny feeling that one did, wasn't open anymore. I mean, I've been past here a hundred times, more. Right, so we're nearing Aberystwyth now. Yeah. Uh. 
hell is going on there? They were closing that road off. I hope everything's all right there because uh, there's quite a bendy mountainous road up there and you quite a few accidents up there. Could be something to do with that, but hopefully not. A couple more bends and then we'll be in Aberystwyth. Well, I haven't seen the sea for a few weeks. Actually, saying that. Mind you, I didn't, get to see, I didn't actually see it when I went to the Channel Tunnel. So actually, yeah, I haven't seen the sea for a few weeks. Now we can all refuel here as well. There must have been an accident up there. You know in that roundabout where they were blocking it off? Up there there's a mountain road, yeah? And they're always having crashes up there. And he was blocking it off, wasn't he? Yeah. I bet the police have told him to block it. There must have been a crash up there. Number six, please. Nice one. Cheers. Right, let's go and find your friend. Yeah, the sea is here. We're two minutes away. But you know when we leave, we mustn't go that way. We have to go that way and cut across that way. Fish and chips by the sea. What's the plan after Aberystwyth? McUncliffe. You know what, it's getting quite late. I don't know if we've got time to hit Snowdon. So we're just in Aberystwyth Town Centre at the moment, just making our way down to the seafront. It's all very nice here now. When I was young, well, I suppose in the winter it still is, but it used to be like just a derelict town with hardly anything but where I lived it was about 35 mile away from me and you used to have to come all the way here just to get cigarettes or something because there was no shops to open where I lived Nice. Sea is looking very nice today with a ship out there as well. Right, just find somewhere to park.
look at that. Not bad view, eh? Across the sea. Hundreds of bikes up there. What's going on here today? Looks like this is the finish line for something. This must be the finish line for something today. Yeah, maybe they're going to come down that way. I don't know. Maybe that's why they're closing that road. Wow, well, I'm going to have a nice drink and just sit here for five minutes. Right, we're in Aberystwyth still. We probably stayed a little bit longer than we should have. And we're going to go to... We're going to go past, uh, I think it's called Llywydog Reservoir or something. Which is beautiful. So, let's get there. Are you on? Media connected. My god, this is quite hard getting out of here. You alright? No. Right, so we're just leaving Aberystwyth and probably just in the nick of time because it looks like a car rally is about to end here shortly. So there's a lot of people about. Hope that road's open. Otherwise we're going to have to go a big detour. So on the way into Aberystwyth, this road was closed up here. But hopefully while we go down here now, the road's going to be open again. Otherwise we're going to have to take a big detour, um, which is not going to be good. So stay tuned and let's see. If we see the tail end of a traffic jam, then we know it's still closed. Well, a little bit further up the road, there was the roadblock still. Um, I spoke to the policeman, he confirmed that there had actually been a bike accident earlier that day. He did kindly let us through the roadblock, but only to go up about a mile or two back to where the petrol station was that was closed earlier. And then we uh, took that little lane again and went back off up towards Devil's Bridge, which is where we are currently now. We're just heading towards Devil's Bridge. And what we're hoping to do is... Uh, if we go on a little bit further up, hopefully we'll pass the, uh, the where the accident happened and then we can cut back down and get back on that road that was closed but a bit further up past there and then head up towards Clewedog Reservoir. So what I'm thinking guys, if we can get to Devil's Bridge and then maybe do a left, it should bring us out back on the A44, past the accident spot. I think the accident spot was on that hill leading up towards the silver mine up there. So, hopefully, we can get down that way. So we're still travelling along the A44, um, just coming up to the turning that will take us back up to Ryder and Elan Valley if we wanted to go back up there. But we're going to do a left at the roundabout at, um, what's the name of the place, Slangurig. Um, and then we're going to end up heading down towards, if we carry on going, we'll end up at Welshpool and Newtown, which is the way we're going to go. But we are going to do a detour because um, we want to go to Shuidog Reservoir to the viewpoint there to show these boys. But yeah, all in all, today's been absolutely awesome. You know, it doesn't matter how many times you go back to these places, they're just still so, so, so special to go there and get out of the city and just spend some time out in the countryside. And best of all, on these bikes, because these bikes are amazing. I mean, the last few weeks, this bike has been my, my wingman. We've been everywhere together. We've been Germany, France, and now Wales, and yesterday, Peak District. And it hasn't missed a beat. Perfect. And I'm not in any pain from all this riding, which is absolutely awesome. Because I've literally been sitting on this bike for hours and hours, doing miles and miles and miles. The comfort on these bikes is phenomenal compared to other bikes I've ridden. I mean, if I was on a sports bike doing all those miles, I'd have to stop way more. And the tank on this, I mean, look at it now. It says 393 miles. So all these things are really good and make this bike one of the best for me, I think. Okay, we're going to carry on along here a little bit and then I'll come back to you when we turn off and head up to the viewpoint at uh, Clanid Clanidlows, I think it's called. Yeah, Clanidlows, we're going to turn off. 
Okay guys, we've arrived at Clean Dog Reservoir and I think you'll agree this view is pretty spectacular. I've been here in the winter, I've been here in the summer and that view never gets old. Wales has got everything. This is just absolutely amazing. Stunning. And if you do come up here and you get time, just ride all the way around the road. It goes all the way around and up the top here on top of the mountain to pass. And you will not be sorry. This is definitely should be on your bucket list of rides in Wales, this road. Come up to this point, go over there to the other viewpoints over here. And you won't be sorry. It's really nice. So here's the bikes for today. Obviously you've got the best one here. HP. You've got the R90. And then this lovely triple black. Triple black, nice and clean. Lovely actually. Beautiful. And um, one thing I'm missing that everyone else has got is these tank bags. I've never really been into the tank bags. This one's fully loaded. It's got everything. So you got on the front. Oh, it's got mounts here, spotlights, Touratech toolbox there. That's good. On the uh, 3D exhaust uh, registration plate. Oh, R9T. That's nice as well. Sounds beautiful. Then this bad boy with the Denali lights on the front and the uh, light guard. Three sixty mount. And he's took off the back mud guard, which I showed you in the other video. I do think. I mean, mine needs a wash now. But I do think the Kalamata is good. Anyway, back to this view. Definitely, it was worth coming up here to show them. They say in Wales, Cymru and Bith, Wales forever. <laughs>
Okay, so we're going to leave this spot now and then we're going to head back. We're going to get on the A44. We're going to cruise all the way down to the M6 and then back home. But I think you'll agree today's been an absolutely awesome ride. And to end it here, in one of my favourite places in Wales, that's just topped the day off that has. Look at that, guys. Come down here and just sit here all day if you can. Because this is it's just amazing. Just a stone's throw from the seaside if you want to go down to the beach. And look at it now, this time of night, there's no one here, nice and quiet. Well boys, I've had a thoroughly enjoyable day, thank you very much. So that's it, we're off. My little legs can't do that. All right. Well, she's only just got back. You're such a bad person. Nice roads. And it's nice having that breeze as well. Oh. That's the way we've got to go next time up there. So we're just coming along the A44 and a train's come in. We're all lined up here. I wonder if I can do a quick story of it going past. Yeah, yeah, storm. Okay guys, well that's it, look, back in England. There you go, welcome to England, County of Shropshire. So that's it, fantastic day out in Wales. Now we've just got to get back to Coventry. And if you look at this evening that we're having, it's still 22 degrees and it's seven o'clock at night. It's been absolutely glorious today. The weather gods have definitely been on our side. Right, let's, uh, let's get back to Coventry. We're riding back and we've just got this amazing sunset behind us. Don't know if you can see it in the mirror, but that is fantastic. Look at that. Everything's orange tonight. Okay. Well, we're nearly back at Birmingham now and we're going to be separating soon. <clears throat> going our separate ways. I'll be going down the M6 towards Coventry. Uh, we all live in different areas, you see. Okay, so we'll say good night to Neem. Thank you for today. Been brilliant. 
See you later, brother. Say goodbye to his HP. And then it's just me and Faisal back to Brom. And don't forget guys, if you haven't checked out Naeem's channel on YouTube yet, it's Naeem Explores. I'll put a link in the description. I'll try and put a link on the page as well. There he goes. Now we'll just leave the better bikes. Let's go. Haha. <laughs> well, the sat nav told him to go another way because it was quicker. But I just came this way. But as you can see, it's pretty hectic down here. We should have gone that way. It doesn't matter. Yeah, this is the M6 for you, past Birmingham. In fact, it's when it goes down towards the M5, you quite often get this uh, heavy traffic down there. Okay guys, um, we're just coming up the M6 and uh, Faisal's about to leave here on Junction 7. Safe bro. On his R9T. Nice bike actually. And that's just us now. Well that's it, they've gone now. I had a great day. Riding in a group wasn't that bad after all. And like, as long as you've all got the same route in your maps and stuff, then you're all going the same way. It doesn't matter if you lose someone or it's good. I still like my solo trips as well though, because then you can go wherever you want, whenever you want, like. But yeah, I really like that. Hopefully you go out again with them lots sometime. But now, it's just me, you, and the M6 home. And then a nice cup of tea, I reckon. Yeah, we've got about, um, about 15 miles to go before we turn off the M6. So let's proceed. Do you know what? I'm riding along the M6 here and I'm about 15 miles from home, maybe 12, 15. And I don't feel like going back <clears throat> just yet. It's such a nice evening, 24 degrees. I think I'm going to turn off and take the country lanes home. So normally I'd carry on straight here. For today, I'm going to turn off here, I think, is it here? Yeah, I'm going to turn off and I'm going to take a nice country cruise home. Do you ever get that? Well, I'm getting it right now. I've had so much fun today, I don't, I don't want to stop. So, I'm going to turn off here and then get on some really small country lanes all the way back to Coventry and actually at the moment I'm hating this motorway to be fair so let's get off it I know a nice little way back yeah go left here And then we'll go down to Colesville and then cut across. Bit mad, isn't it? But who cares? It's just too nice. Look at it, look at the sky. 
What am I going to do when I get back? I'm just going to throw everything, throw everything in a big heap and then probably just put the telly on and then eat fatty food. So I might as well just ride around and enjoy myself a bit more while it's still a little bit light. It's not that light but it's looking good. Hope the camera's working. Yeah, still working. Right, we'll head down here. Okay, I think there's a little turning just down here somewhere. And then we can head down there. Just along here somewhere. Max Stoke Lane, that's the one. We'll take that. I mean, I'm not going home yet, it's 22 degrees. In fact, I've still got coffee in my pannier. That might be a good idea, we'll stop and have a coffee somewhere. I think there's a bridge by a river somewhere along there, we'll stop there. Perfect. Yes. Yeah, I couldn't take that motorway anymore. Had to get off it. And now they've all gone. I can do what I want. Some cars parked on the verge up here. I bet they're fishing. So I think there's a river just around here. Fishing or hunting anyway. Ah, this is beautiful. Oh, here's that bridge. Let's have a look, see what's happening here. Have a look. Can we get up there? Yep. Oh yeah. Nice spot down there for fishing. Get a little lamp in there and see. What a brilliant day that was. But it's nearly home time. This is why I came this way. I just wanted a bit of peace like this. After that hectic motorway ride. I don't know how much energy this uh, camera's got left on it. But it's already flashing red on this side. Let's see what percentage it says. See if I can see. Can't actually tell, but yeah, it's definitely getting low. This is so nice. Really is. Maybe I should get a coffee out. I've got one left. Maybe I will. It's not a bad spot for a little coffee, is it? A little evening coffee. Let's do it. Get mad, isn't it? But let's just do it anyway. Let's do mad things. It's good for you. Let's get the bike on the stand. Let's put it on the centre stand, actually. Just because of where we're parked. There you go. Let's get a coffee on the go. Turn the lights off. Still not off.
get the helmet off. This is the thing. I did want to show an Eurotech helmet, but that, that having the camera there where I want it is impossible. It's really bad fitting it on one of them helmets. It doesn't matter how they try and make it like look like you can do it, because I've seen people doing it, but it's it's no good. So anyway, let's um get the helmet off and have this coffee. Well, cheers guys. That was a brilliant day out. Hope you enjoyed watching that as much as I enjoyed riding it. I mean, it wasn't even North Wales, was it? It was like mid, mid Wales. Elam Valley, you can't go wrong. Definitely can't go wrong around there. And then just going up to that um, reservoir at the end, just topped off the day. This is what I can see now, let's have a look. You probably can't see it now because it's uh, very dark, but what a place to end up. What a great place to end the day. All that manic riding on the motorway, all I wanted to do was just stop. And this is perfect. Well, I'm still here. Been here for about half an hour. No, more than that. Probably about 45 minutes. It's just been so peaceful and nice. But I suppose better make a move and get back. Ready for work again tomorrow. Hell of a weekend though. Friday night, out and about all over the uh, Warwickshire. Saturday, all over the Peak District. And Sunday, Wales. Amazing feel so good now. I don't even want to go to work, I want to get back on the bike. <laughs> but, someone's got to pay the bills. Okay, let's hit the road. So if I just press this button here, you should be able to see me then. All right guys, let's hit the road and let's get home. All right, get the gloves on and then let's go. I'm having to put this blanket down because I sat on a bridge earlier and the tar must have melted in the heat. Because Wales isn't used to that heat, man. <laughs> anyway, the tar melted in the heat and bloody stuck to my trousers. So, luckily, I've got these uh, microfiber cloths in the back. I've got everything. Yep. Let's just set it to home. I know the way back, really, but I just want to see which way this is going to take me. Quickest route. Let's see what it does. From here though, you better just go in shortest route, I'll be honest. Take it shortest route. Settings. Navigation. Faster time. Let's go shortest route. Shortest route save. Okay. Good to go. Good to go. That's it. Always feel like I might be forgetting something back there. Don't think I am though, I've got the GoPros. Let's go. Yeah, I think this way just takes you up to Falongley. Right, see you in Cov. Well, that's over 13 hours later now. Loads of mountains, dams, rivers, even the beach in this one. A nice ride down to Wales, around the Elam Valley area and Aberystwyth and up to the uh, Llyn Llywydog Reservoir. But was it any good? I personally think it was amazing. You can pretty much go to anywhere in Wales and you're going to have a brilliant day's ride. I've done uh, down south, I've done mid, I've done west Wales, north Wales. They're all fantastic. I think Elam Valley and around Snowdon has got something special. But you can go down towards Brecon and stuff and equally it's just gorgeous down there as well. But today, the Elam Valley, it's a bit of a biker's mecca. Slightly ride off in Ryder. 
and then work your way through the Elam Valley down to Aberystwyth. Brilliant day out, absolutely enjoyed it. I hope you've enjoyed the video as much as I've enjoyed riding this today. And also, it was my first ride out with a group and I have to say, I pretty much enjoyed it. So you might see some more ride outs on future videos because normally I'm on my own, just mooching about. I hope you enjoyed watching it. If you're new to the channel, give that little subscribe button a hit. If you're watching the video, don't forget to hit that like button. And uh, as usual, leave all your comments because I love reading through all them. And I will try and get back to all of you as well. But for now, we're almost home. It's been a brilliant day. Thanks for watching guys. Take care. And if you're out on your bike, ride safe and I'll see you in the next video see you guys